Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you the main difference between count and the context function in Power BI. I'm going to take two scenarios as an example and show you how we can use context function. So this is a sample data set which I'll be using. The column A, we have the brand of the various phone manufacturers. And in the column B, we have the product. And also in the column D, we have the units. So I'll be using this data set to calculate context. So the first scenario will be, I'll be using the context combined with filter function. And in the second scenario, I'll use the context combined with summarize function. So the, in, the, in the first scenario, I want to apply a filter for this data set in Power BI and calculate the count of the product, which is in column B. And in the second scenario, I want to summarize my data by brand and product, something like this here within the PBI. And then I want to count the product within this particular table, which I create within PBI. So the, the second scenario might be a little tricky. So basically let's take an example here, Apple. I have only one product, so iPhone X. That's the only one unique count. But in Samsung, I have three models, different models. So I need each one to be counted as one. And similarly, Xiaomi, uh, one model and Redmi Note 8, this is one more model. So I want to get the result something like this out of this data in PBI. So let me quickly load this to PBI and then see how we can go through each of the different scenarios. Now, as you can see here, I have the data in this PBI file. So I have the brand, the product, region, unit shipped, it's a Boolean type, and also the row number, I have total 19 records. So I kept few records blank purposely. You can see here the product is blank here, the last records, and also sometimes the unit shipped at the last three records is blank. So now uh, let me go to the report and then try to do a simple count of product and see what we get. So ideally I should be getting only 17, I guess. Let's see. So I have a metrics here. And now let me create a new measure and call it as count example. Let me call this as do a first simple count equal to count of the product. Hit enter. Let me bring this to the values. Yes, it ignores the null values. So this is what I got. So now let's look at the context. So with filter condition. So now add new measure. Then let's call it as count X example one equal to. So now I'll be combining the context with filter function. So what I'll do is use context. You can see the count takes only one argument. So if I use context, I get to table and expression here. So the table is before I write table, I need to apply a filter here for this table, the table which I'm using. So filter, and now I'll give my table name here. So in this case, my table name is sheet one, and the filter expression in this case, I'll, let's say, I'll use the product equal to, let's say, iPhone X. I'm filtering for just one product. And now, I need to apply an expression here. So this is the first statement here. And now I want to do a count of product. 
after let's say I'm applying only for iPhone X. Hit enter. I'll be getting the results only for Apple. So now let me bring this to the values here. You can see I, have, I was able to restrict hard code it only for iPhone X. So Apple, iPhone X belongs to Apple. And that's the reason you have only three records. Samsung and Xiaomi are filtered out. So now this is one of the example where it allows you to apply a filter for a particular table. So now let's me take another example. So now I want, let's say I want to create a new measure and then use the context with summarize function context. Let's call it as example two equal to, first I need to use context function. And then the table, first I need to create a temporary table like using a summarize, I know like just like a group by function, I would say. So I want to summarize my table, uh, call this sheet one by, I want to do a group by based on, let's say product. I want to see how many products we have, unique products. So I'm doing a group by based on this product. And now once I do a group by, I can count the products. So I'll be getting the unique products within each brand. So now let's hit enter. So now if I bring this to the values here, you can see Apple has only one product in its portfolio, that is iPhone X. But Samsung has different models, like three unique models, uh, like Galaxy, etc., Notes, etc. Similarly for Xiaomi, it has it has also three unique different models. So by using summarize along with context, I can get the desired results. So these are the two simple ways to use context function and the difference between count and context. But you can couple this context with various other measures and then according to the scenario you can get the output so with this i'm going to end this video hope this helps have a great day